it's yet in the Rollins on Worship Altar and I am super duper excited to have you join in on this episode of the show. So, did you know that through Bible history, God also revealed his glory in the form of a cloud? Remember in Exodus 40, the Israelites and Moses couldn't enter into the tabernacle because the place was filled with the glory of God and it was in the form of a cloud. Likewise, in 2 Chronicles, the, the priests could not minister because the temple was filled with the glory of God. Remember the Israelites could not move except the cloud of the glory lifted. That was the sign that they could move when they were journeying through um, the wilderness from Egypt to the promised land. Okay, so for me, I think um, the glory or the cloud of that glory signified that they needed to tarry to fellowship. And we want that glory cloud in our days. My guest has a song that says, your glory cloud is what we yearn for. She would love to share that experience with you. I'm sure you want to hear about it. I am Sonia Inese Bainé, a prophetic worshiper based in the city of Jos. I would love to just talk about briefly about the glory cloud, how it came about. The song was dated um, two years ago specifically. We usually have a monthly worship called Cloud. So in one of the worship, during one of the worship, there was an outbreak of God's glory and then the sound kept coming. So far I would say that song has blessed me and it has brought me to the place of intimacy, cononia with God. Talking about glory cloud is about the return of the king and how you as a believer should know how to navigate, to walk in that glory, to be operational. Well, glory cloud, one of the uh, meetings we had, we had glory cloud and a lady with HIV was there. At the sound of that song, she was healed. A lot of things left people. I want to say that song has been a source of strength to me personally and to every other person that have listened to it and to all those who will be drinking from that fountain. I want you to know that as you hear that song, it's going to take you to where God wants you to be and it's going to draw a rim of fire in the inside of you. It's going to stir the waters in the inside of you. So God bless you as you drink from this fountain. Amen. Bye. Welcome back and thanks for sharing that experience with us. I can only imagine what the glory cloud looks like. It must be both terrifying and beautiful at the same time. Let's jump right into the song. Okay. So the song says, Your glory cloud is what we earn for your glory cloud. Your glory cloud is what we end for, your glory cloud. Your glory cloud is what we end for, your glory cloud. Revival fire is what we pray for, revival fire. Revival fire is what we cry for. cry let's learn it are you good to go your glory cloud is what we yearn for want to go your glory cloud is what we yearn for your glory cloud your glory cloud is what we yearn for your glory cloud your glory cloud is what we end for, your glory cloud. Revival fire, revival fire is what we ask for, revival fire. Oh, revival fire is what we cry for, revival fire. The 
song is a cry and it's a prayer at the same time. And as I would usually say, you can't make such a cry if you haven't given your life to Christ yet. And so if you haven't, this is a good place and the right time for you to do that. No wasting time, no waiting. You have to jump into this fellowship up the glory cloud. If you haven't given your life to Christ yet, I would like you to say this prayer with me quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess and admit I am a sinner. I have lived my life short of your standard for me. Please cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Take away my sin, take away my guilt by your precious blood, Jesus. Write my name in the book of life and lead me in the everlasting way. Help me to come into fellowship with your glory cloud. Thank you because my life can never be the same anymore. In Jesus' name I pray. So if you have just said that prayer, I am excited and heaven is excited too. I cannot wait for you to begin to bask in the glory cloud. Right now, the worship team is going to be doing this song and we have Sister Sonia herself doing justice on it. You don't want to miss that. You know the song already. Let's join in. <laughs>